wanting to pursue a qualification such as CPA, but finding out you're ineligible for it can be very demotivating. So in such a case, what really are your options? In today's video, we'll be discussing exactly that. Trying to understand what other professional qualifications can you pursue? Or if it's CPA that you're after, what is the best way or what are your options to becoming eligible for CPA at the earliest? On this channel, guys, we make a lot of these videos for budding professionals like you all wanting to pursue ACCA, CFA, CPA, CMA, IFRS, and more. At Zell, we provide training for all these courses, and me, Rashesh, is an ACCA faculty here at Zell, training students in APM. To make your journey simpler while you pursue CPA, we urge you all to stay subscribed with us and get access to all these videos that will allow you to get information like nowhere else. So right guys, jumping into the video, the first part of what other professional qualifications can you pursue brings me to a number one choice, which is US CMA. If you are likely to do CPA because you're interested in you know, being around the US economy, you want to work for MNCs of United States, there are two good courses that you all can do. US CMA that I already mentioned, this course is fairly short, just like CPA, which makes it an ideal parallel. The only difference is CMA is more focused, or let's say equally focused in accounts and finance, and CPA is primarily towards accounts. If you are still wanting to do something more towards finance, then US CFA is also an alternative that you all can choose. But keep in mind that CFA requires much more time when you compare it with CPA. If you are interested in finding out more about CFA or CMA, you all can look at our dedicated videos on them and get all the information that you all need. But let's say you are interested primarily in the accounts field. You all want to do something which is an equivalent of CPA, if not CPA. That's when, guys, I would recommend ACCA to you all. To simplify things for you all, CPA allows you to specialize in US CAP and cater to US clients operating in India or across the world. ACCA, on the other hand, allows you to specialize in IFRS which is basically the European standards and literally the international financial reporting standards, which more than 180 countries across the world follow. So if you would have done US CPA, you would have primarily catered to the US clients. And if you do an ACCA, you would be catering to various international clients, primarily ranging from Europe, Asia, and other South Asian hubs like Singapore, Malaysia, and more. The difference here is CPA might be something that you might not be eligible for, but ACCA is something that you're eligible for right after your 12th. If you're a graduate, you might have to give less papers. If you're a part qualified accountant like a CA, there are less exemptions. And to find out more, we have dedicated videos which you can find on our channel to help you with that. Coming on to the next part, guys, what if you all still want to do CPA and you all need to understand how to become eligible for it? Guys, first of all, I suggest do not whack your brains and try and figure out how to become eligible and what not. Even in this video, I will give you all certain tips, but I urge you all, please reach out to us, have a word with our expert counselors and understand the best possible and the customized approach for you to become eligible and pursue CPA, right? So commonly from all the students that we counsel, we observe two reasons why they might not be eligible. The first one being that they simply lack the fourth year of their bachelor's since in India, all our bachelor's courses are three years and CPA requires 120 credits, which is four years worth of bachelor's education. In that case, guys, the answer is very simple. You all can do some sort of a correspondence MCOM and doing that, you all can start with your CPA journey on day one itself. How it works is basically you'll be proving to the CPA body that yes, I am studying MCOM side by side. Yes, I can give my CPA exams. And one year later, once your first year of MCOM is done, you can show that proof to CPA, become eligible and waste no time whatsoever. The second problem that we've noticed our students face is that they've done some sort of masters. They've done their MCOM. They might have specialized in economics. They might have specialized in family business. And they don't end up getting those specific accounting credits they need for them to become eligible. In that case, guys, the obvious route for y'all is to go and do certain US 
short courses which give you all those necessary three, six, nine credits and make you eligible. But guys, we observed that this ends up becoming very financially expensive and most of our students do not prefer doing this. Rather, they still go ahead with the MCOM route. They go forward, take their first year of MCOM and just simply go ahead and give their CP exams because a standard MCOM curriculum has those advanced accounting and other credits that you all need to become eligible for CPA. So right guys, I hope this video helped you all. I strongly urge you all to post any of your doubts in the comment section below. Reach out to us and please like this video if this video helped you all. Share it with any of your other peers who might be eligible for CPA until they find out about us. Thank you.